on my way out to a new site today. Got a few hours off, so hopefully it'll produce something. It's a site that, to my knowledge, has never been detected before. That doesn't mean to say I'll find anything, but the anticipation, the anticipation is there. And those of you who go to Tecton will know exactly what I'm talking about. It's that anticipation, the unknown, not knowing what you're going to find. You might find absolutely nothing, or you might hit something great within half an hour. And it's that excitement that gets people my age and older who really should know better too excited to sleep sometimes. I know if I've gone out with somebody and they've found loads of good stuff on a particular site, and I'm going to go there the next morning, I have a hard job sleeping. But this video series has been great for me to put together because of the anticipation. The anticipation of what's going to come through. I've no idea what people have been finding throughout the world, and I've no idea what video is going to come through for each episode. One video which didn't come through, but bears reporting, is a huge gold nugget that was found in Australia a couple of weeks ago. I'm sure everybody that's watching will have already seen this on the news. But basically, it's a 5.5 kilogram nugget found in Australia, the Mine Lab GPX 5000, at roughly two foot deep. This is how it was reported in our country. This is from ITN News. They actually failed to mention what it was found with, apart from a metal detector. But now you've got the info, here's the clip. Hopefully by adding this in the video, the video won't get flagged for copyright or any of that nonsense because it did have information missed out of it. I'm adding that information, so therefore I'm claiming fair use. Going for gold, and lots of it, as a prospector in Australia unearths a 12-pound giant nugget of the stuff in the town of Ballarat. The lucky finder, who used a state-of-the-art metal detector to discover the piece of gold, decided to remain anonymous, handing it instead to gold shop owner Cordell Kent. The biggest nugget he'd found was a quarter-ounce piece, and then he found this one yesterday. So now his wife's very happy. He's very happy, and the detectors paid for. And he has every reason to be happy. That banknote is just there for scale. The gold is in fact worth more than 295,000 US dollars, with the gold shop on the hunt for the highest bidder. Now that's one mighty deep hole that you wouldn't have minded digging. How awesome was that? On a scale of one to 10, I would probably rate that find as a good 11. I didn't actually see this on the news, uh, I choose not to watch the news, but this was a nice story because it was about metal detecting, and therefore it was of interest to me. Let's face it, the chances of finding something like that are quite literally one in a million, possibly even longer odds than that, but the clips that you're about to see of other things that have been found around the world are obtainable, depending on which country you live in. Welcome to part five. Hey guys, it's JMO. Uh, this is my entry into Ponguru's finds from around the world. This is my chicken hook that I found on a farm site in New Hampshire with the Garrett Ace 250 stock elliptical coil. It was about four inches down all hand forged iron. These were used in chicken coops and in meat houses and smoke houses and they would have a bunch of these strung from beam to beam on a rope and they would hang the chickens from it to bleed or uh, you know some chunks of meat to cure in the smoke house. It's very sharp. I have no idea how old it is. Chicken hook. Hello guys, it's Ash and I from YouTube. My find of the month this month uh, is a little George III silver threepence, dated from 1770. I uh, found this in January this year and found it with a Technetix T2 on dead stubble and it was about three inches down. 
Thanks very much for watching. Hi everybody, this is E-Tracking Ohio again. This is my Franklin Pierce campaign token from the 1852 elections. Franklin Pierce was the 14th president of the U.S. He served from 1853 to 1857. I found this with the E-Track at a construction site where they tore out the roads and the sidewalks. It was about two inches deep underneath an old sidewalk. Um, from what I can tell, it looks like he came through and campaigned on the railroad in 1852. G'day guys, um, this is my Florin trench art coin ring, it's made from silver, um, it's, here's an example of the coin that it was actually made from, it was made by an American soldier during World War II, um, and it it's actually signifies the red arrows, the unit that they are actually in, and the lines across it actually signify Hitler's, Hitler's lines that, that they crossed. And this was found approximately about three to four inches down in really sandy soil in Queensland, Australia. And my name is John24Gold1. Hi guys, um, I'm like really excited. Um, I should have made this video earlier, but la yes, today actually, but it's past midnight now. Um, yes, yesterday I went metal detecting and I went to an old home site that was built in 1866 to, nine, I mean, it's, I think it was 1940 something, but yeah, um, I went metal detecting there and there's ton, it, now it's like a local hunting area where people can shoot targets and shoot now. Well, I'm like so excited. I went there and I, there was trash everywhere. I was getting tons of hits. And then I got this real high hit, and I was like, it's like really good. And I start digging it, and I see some really big roundness in the hole. Like, it's like big. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, literally, like, I was so excited. And I used my pin pointer, and I found it. And you're never going to believe what I found. Um, I'm like super excited. I found an 1883 Morgan Silver Dollar. It's like one of the best coins I've ever found I finally found my first 18th century coin it's like awesome damn um it's pretty sweet I just wanted to show you guys um I'm just gonna put it in a case and I'm not gonna touch it put it with my collection but that's about it. I just wanted to show you what I found at an old home site. And goodbye. Check out my other metal detecting videos. Like and subscribe. This is so the watch I found with my Technodex Delta 4000. At about 3 4 inches deep. It's a Swiss watch, pocket watch, about 1920s. His name is. Matt 98626 The detector used to find this coin was a Joan Allen coin shooter It's only a cheap detector because it's only been detected a few months and Here's the coin The silver hammers Edward the first These are this but your condition, not a very good camera. This was found with 14 Roman coins, and this these were all found within five hours. Right, thanks for watching. Hello there, Jed Dodd, metal detectist in the UK. This is the strangest thing I have ever found with a metal detector. A fully working Weather then <laughs> with a <the> cockerel. <laughs> it was about four inches deep. I was using an XP dais, but I could have got this with a pointed stick. Look at that. <laughs> now, 
that has got to be a one off. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hello, this is Mr. Mick 123M, and what you just seen me dig was this lovely coin. It's a silver hammered Henry the Seventh groat dating 1507 to 1509. It's in wonderful condition, as you can see. It was my first hammered and my only hammered coin I've found to date. It was found four inches down with a Garrett H250 with a standard coil, and it was found in Liverpool. Thanks for watching. Check out my other finds at Mr. Mick 123M. Hello, Pond Guru. My name is Andre and I live in the Netherlands. And I'd like to show you one of the best finds I made. Uh, it was about 17, 18 years ago when we were attending a rally in the south of England. Uh, we were there a couple of days before the rally and we searched a small field. Found several Roman coins and at the end of the day while we were walking back towards the car I found this uh, golden Celtic coin. It's dated about 300 BC and as you can see it's in great shape. This side shows a, uh, a head and the other side shows a horse. I will show you the other side. This is the side that shows the horse. So I hope you and your viewers like this find and I'd like to say goodbye from the Netherlands. Hi YouTubers, Roman Rob here, 1957. And the item I have here today is a little bronze medal. It's from the Van der Mercy organisation, a youth organisation, which was formed in 1875. Uh, the Van der Mercy organisation became the RSPCA in 1883. And these medals were handed out once you signed a declaration saying you'd be kind to animals. It was found with the AT Pro, run about 7 or 8 inches down, I believe, on pasture, in memory serves. Um, it was uh, an unexpected find. I thought it was a dog, collar at first, dog tag at first. There's one of these medals on display actually at the uh, National Army Museum where a guy called Private Poole in the First World War was awarded one for his, uh, his lords towards the horses and it's all, it, it links to the war horse story. So thanks very much. Bye. Keithy Six here of Metal Detecting in Alaska. Uh, this is one of my best finds for this fall. Uh, I thought I found an 1854 $20 gold piece, but unfortunately it was a replica, backside's blank, but uh, it was a very exciting find. I found it uh, probably about uh, four to six inches down uh, in about uh, six inches deep of water at a local swimming area in North Pole, Alaska, using my Fisher Gold Bug. Hello, I'm Richard, channel name Pond Guru, and this is the find I'm putting in for this episode. It's a George II, Maundy, two pence. A tiny little silver coin, probably no more than 15 millimeters across. Now this is in great condition, and it's dated 1743. I found it in the field in front of my house, and believe it or not, it was about 9 or 10 inches down still gave a great signal um, I was really shocked to find something as small as this so deep and that was using the 18 inch coil Roman sight pattern on the mine lab e-track I thought it was a Roman coin at first I thought it was my first Roman silver but I'm just as pleased with that great little coin hello I'm Ben my youtube name is Paul Tab King. I found this in September 2012. It's a Victorian general service button from about 1840. I found it with my Garrett Ace 250. 
in about two inches of water. Thank you. Je sais pas si c'est une monnaie euh, identique ou quoi, mais on va le voir tout de suite. On va le prendre ensemble. Allez, c'est parti. Voilà. Alors, là, il semblerait bien que ce soit. Oh oui, regardez. La même famille. C'est de la même famille. Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé là Excusez-moi, mais euh, j'ai des moustiques autour de moi. Ça m'affole un petit peu, j'en perds la monnaie. Alors attendez voir. Allez là, hop. Oui, regardez. Hi everybody, this is Mark from uh, the Netherlands. Um, my YouTube channel is 1979MGG and this is uh, my next entry for the world best finds. Um, these are they. They are uh, silver pieces uh, from late uh, 17th century and I found them on an, uh, a field uh, with the AT Pro. They all belong to uh, one site and so one treasure, 19 in total. And uh, yeah, also one of uh, my best finds uh, in my collection. Well, I hope you'll agree that was another great episode full of lovely finds. I've already got enough videos for part six as well, so. If I get the time, I'll edit that and bang that out in the next couple of days. Please continue to send me videos anytime you want. Details will follow. They're at the end of this video. Just before I go, I just want to mention two more Facebook groups connected with Metal Detecting. The first is Metal Detecting Worldwide. And the second is Treasure Hunters. Links to both of those groups will be in the description below. Also, thank you to everybody that submitted videos for this episode. There's a few new folks and there's quite a lot of new people in the next episode as well. Um, and I think there's one or two in particular very good finds, ones that I would have loved to have found. In fact, in every episode there's things that I would have loved to have found. But that's what keeps us detecting. Thanks for watching. Now this news clip, this news clip actually comes from ITV. This is how it's. This news clip actually comes from ITV. N. ITN. ITA. Is it ITN. ITV. ITV. This news clip is actually from ITV News. Or is it ITN? ITN. Christ, I never watch the news. All the fields are totally covered in snow. Uh, yeah. Basically undetectable. I didn't actually see this on the news. Uh, I choose not to watch the news. It's generally just full of depressing crap that you can't affect anyway. But this was a nice story because it was about metal detecting. And therefore it was of interest to me.